I'm Caitlin Lee just outside of Calgary and this field behind me is where an injured black bear has been roaming for the past few months. Now residents have fed him, they even made a den, but he won't go inside to hibernate. They're making a final plea to the province to help this animal before the worst happens. He is definitely uh, habituated to humans now. He is, is no longer showing signs of even being concerned when people approach the fence. He's looking at them for an offering of food. This is a problem for bears. Uh, it's never a good outcome for a bear who's comfortable with people. But rewilding is something that can happen. The Russell private action group named after the moniker given to the bear had petitions to sign and letters ready to write. Sherry Barker drove all the way from Chestermere after seeing images of the limping animal on her television. She was near tears. You know, if you're a human being and you let nature take its course, you're not going to. That's just not going to happen. And uh, this is an isolated situation. We're not talking about 25 bears in this situation. We're not talking about 100 bears. We're talking about one. Conservation officials have told residents to stop leaving out food and to leave the bear be. But one expert who led a passionate discussion with animal lovers in Bragg Creek says Nearby residents have helped the animal. He had marked signs of starvation. His head was disproportionately large compared to his body. He doesn't appear to me to be starving anymore, but he definitely appears to still be underweight. So I do believe that the people that have been feeding him probably saved his life. Allside says policies need to change so that all animals can be accepted into Alberta's rehabilitation centers. No matter if they're a small little um, field mouse to a large charismatic bear, they all deserve that chance. As the weather turns colder, they're hoping for the best. When the winter comes in harsher, um, it's going to be hard on that bear. My hope would be that through the hibernation period that he does survive it and he wakes up in the spring with a touch of rewilding. Reporting for City News in Calgary, I'm Caitlin Lee.